hello everybody welcome to kitech digital now in today's video we're going to learn how to be able to add um, a wallet system on your website now this wallet system is basically good for an e-commerce website so maybe you want to drive traffic to your website and then you don't know a way of driving traffic to your website now you can use the wallet system to drive traffic to your website so that people can be able to uh, retain on your website and then you know use the money that they get on your website to buy something on the website so um, not just a wallet system but also something like an affiliate system on your website so um, what a customer will see or um, um, whoever comes to your website will see is their wallet balance over here okay you see their wallet balance over here and they can use that wallet balance to buy anything that they they want they can also top up their wallet and then maybe you can also set up something like a cashback system or an affiliate system whereby whoever visits the website daily can get um, a commission or something or whoever refers somebody to your website can also get what um a commission or something from the website and then use that commission to buy something on the website so i'm going to go take you through what we are going to um you know add to our website now basically if somebody um have a wallet uh, money in their wallet now they can use the money to buy whatever thing that they want to buy so let's say the person add this product or this music to cart okay so let's say the person add this one to cart and then proceed ahead to what um to to buy whatever the person wants to buy so proceed to check out now this is um, the checkout side of the website now as you can see over here the person can fill the billing details and then they have two um you know um how do you call it two two payment gateway over here so the first one is cash on delivery and the second one is what the wallet payment over here now you can add any kind of payment system that you want but I for tutorial purpose I'm just using cash on delivery and then um, wallet payment now the wallet is what we are going to add to our what our website so the person can use the wallet balance to what uh, to proceed to pay for the order that a person what um, is ordering so let's say let me fill in the details over here so let's say I'm going to use Kobe and then I'll fill in all the details over here and then I'll proceed to use my wallet balance to what to pay to place the order so at the moment I place the order automatically I can go ahead to download my what my um, my song okay or go ahead to what um, to the, the 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 product or whatever it is will be completed and then uh, the uh, the admin or whoever is selling the product can be able to what ship the product to to you but this is basically a song so i can go ahead to what um to you know download the song now as you can see over here we bought the song 20 um 20 what 20 um cities but then we still have a cashback of what 20 percent because there is a 20 percent cashback okay so if you go to your wallet and then you check your wallet you can see that you have what um you know the the wallet has been deducted 20 and then you, you this was your balance and then the wallet has been added 20 and then like there is a cashback over here okay of what plus 20 so you can see everything over here okay now you can also go to your transactions and then see all the transactions over there all the transactions over there so um this is a, a cashback okay that you got because the the website have a cashback system whereby they provide cashback for anybody who buy things um, from certain amount to certain amount okay and this is what a payment that you made from your from your wallet so it is deducted from your wallet so you can see your total balance that you have and all the transactions in it now you can check all everything from your account side okay you can also top up your wallet over there and you can also transfer you know money to anybody on the website so if you want go to transfer you can what transfer money to anybody anybody who is on the website so let's say you want to transfer money to somebody on the website you can type the person's email address over here and then 
you know um, enter the amount over here the reason why you want to transfer the money and then transfer it to the person now if you want referral this is where all your referrals are okay so you can copy your referral link okay over here and then you can share it to people so that whoever clicks on your referral you will get what a referral bonus over here so basically this is how the system all works and we are going to add this one to our website now my name is Kobe and I pr um, I'm, I'm the founder of Kitech Digital I provide them um, you know um, tutorials on how to create your own website um, from scratch okay without coding so if you're interested in this video um, please smash the subscription button and then like like the video for me and share it okay now share it so that anybody who also wants to create their website can be able to what can be able to create thank you for um, joining me and let's enter into the um, the video itself <laughs> Okay, so to add the wallet system on our website, we need to go to our dashboard. So we're going to add the wallet system over here. Okay, so we need to go to our dashboard. Now, you go to your dashboard. Now, we hover on plugins over here, and then we go to add new plugin. Okay, or when if you're in the plugin session, you can click on add new over here. So click on add new to add a new plugin. Okay, now the plugin that we're going to add is called Wallet or Terra Wallet. So just type in Wallet or you type in Terra Wallet. And then the first thing that you're going to get is what? Terra Wallet for WooCommerce. Now remember, this is for what? For WooCommerce, okay? And there are a lot of you know, wallets over here, okay? But as you can see, this one have what? More active installations and then five-star rating over here, okay? So just click on what? Terra Wallet and then click on Install now to install it now when it is installed just click on activate to activate it okay so we have what activated our what our terra wallet now I as you can see it is over here okay so we're going to do some few settings on the terra wallet now before we do that what we're going to do is we're going to go to woocommerce over here and then go to settings because we want to activate it as our what our payment system so when we add settings we go to what um, payment over here okay so go to payment over here and then make sure that th uh, the wallet payment is what is ticked okay now at first it will be like this sometimes here yeah. so make sure that it is what it is checked over here okay yeah so that is it you activate it like that and then you click on save okay very good so now that we've done this one now if you go to our website okay and then um and then we refresh the website now we're still gonna get this one because um we haven't set up some few things that we are supposed to set up so now let's go back to the um, we are supposed to see the the plugin um the the wallet over here okay but we haven't set up all those things so let's go back to the plugin side okay and then let's over on um, Terra wallet over here and then let's go to the settings of the Terra uh, the Terra wa wallet okay Terra wallet Terra wallet okay fine so now this is what um, the general settings of the wallet okay now we're gonna um, you know fixing some few things now first we want to what um, uh, you know fixing our rechargeable product image so when somebody is recharging his or her um, wallet the image that will come okay so we set that product image make sure that you have a wallet image over here like this okay and then insert it so we're going to insert this one over there and then um, the minimum top up how much minimum can the person you know top up so let's say the person can top up depend on what you are selling on your website okay so let's say the person can top up let's say 20 cities and then the maximum top up so that one i'll leave it blank because that's uh, maximum as possible and then the minimum wallet this um the mini wallet display location 
So where do you want the wallet to display? So I want it to display on the primary menu. That is this one here over here. And then also I want it to display on um, the logged in account menu. Okay. So if there is a logged in account menu, I want it, it to display over there. Now it depends on if you want it to display. It depends on the team that you are using. Okay. Now the team location, the, the menu locations of the team depending depends on where you want it to be displayed. And then also auto detect wallet balance. Okay, yes, very good. I want it to automatically detect, um, uh, you know, deduct wallet balance when I'm paying something. Okay, and then um, allow wallet transfer. Yes, I want it to allow. And then the minimum um, transfer amount to I want it to set it to twenty. And then the transfer charge type. Do you want it to be uh, charge? You know, any anything when the person is transferring money. It depends on you, but it's unnecessary to charge when somebody is with transferring money on to somebody on the same, um, you know, website. So I wouldn't, um, you know, charge in it. And then cash on delivery. So this is the only payment system on my website. So I want to what, um, the wallet to use this gateway to what, to top up their account. So if there is different different gateways, maybe you have PayPal, you have, um, you know, Paystack, you have uh, Flutterwave or any other pay razor or any other you know payment system you can what it, it will be shown over here you can take it over there and then i'll what i'll save it i'll save the changes now that um i've done these changes now i want to go back over here and then refresh it i still cannot see it because i need to purge the catch so what i'm going to do is i'm going to purge catch over here purge all and then see if it's going to show over there Yes, so as you can see, I have a total wallet balance of what? Zero. Okay, there is nothing in my what in my account. Now this is what I'm going to do because I want to use it to test the system. So I'll go to wallet Terra wallet over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to what um you know give money to myself. Okay, so I'll go I'll click on this uh, uh the the range icon over here, okay, the settings icon over here, I'll click on it and then I'll credit myself with what with money. So let's say I'm going to credit myself with um thousand, okay, and then I'll just click on save. Okay, very good. So um I used it previously. That is why you see this once over there. Now when you go to the the website itself and then you you click on what um, refresh. Now let me still um purge the catch because that is what happened. Okay. You realize that the thousand I created is what is in my wallet over here. It is it is in my wallet over here. Now when I click on this wallet itself and I go to my account to check my balance, I'll see my thousand over here. Okay. I'll see my thousand over here. Okay, very good. So now that it is done, let's um go back. Now we've know how to add the wallet to our our um you know our our website now let's use it to buy something and see if it works okay so let's say we want to buy um you know this song over here so let me click on add to cart to add it to cart and then i will just you know click on what proceed to what to cart uh, to check out and then i'll fill in some few details of myself and as you can see the wallet is what selected over here okay yes yeah, so you can decide to choose between the payment system on your on your website and then the wallet but if you have money in your wallet it will be um, you know selected and then you proceed to it to place the order okay very good so the order has been placed and then we can what download our song so if you click on download the song is what being downloaded over here as you can see over here okay so very good so let me cancel it because I don't want to download it. So now that we have it, we have, you know, everything set up, the other details and other things. Okay. Now let's check our balance. You can, as you can see, where the balance is what nine eighty. Okay. Yeah, that is what that is our balance. Now we have, we have set up our wallet. The wallet is working. All right. Now we want to use this same Terra wallet to uh, to run a cashback system for our website. So let's look at how it it works. So to run a cashback system. Let's hover on the Terra wallet again, and then let's go to um, settings itself. 
and then you see credit options over here okay now click on the credit options and then you see this one cashback reward program okay so we're gonna click on this one and then you select the ones that you want so we activate it and then how do you want it to you know to um to work the process cashback so when it is processing and then when it is what completed so it depends on how you want it and then the um cashback rule okay where do you want what what do you want is it um product wise category pr product category wise or the cut wise i wanted the cut wise okay and then the cashback type so you do want a fix or percentage i want the percentage and then um you know cashback amount now i want it to be what one percent okay so the minimum cut amount to i set it i will set it to a 20 and then the maximum cashback amount it's five so no matter how much the person buys he will still receive the person buy he will still receive what the maximum of the five um how do you call it five um you know cities or five dollars or whatever amount on my what on my website and then the payment gateway charge okay customer ch charge customer when they add balance to their wallet so do you want to um you know them to you to charge them when they add balance to their wallet uh, it's unnecessary to do that all what you need to do after that is to click on what click on save so now that it is done we are done we are okay with it so all what we need to do is what to go back and test the system again and see if it works okay so let's go to our store now let's also once again order something let's say we want to order this one now our balance is what 980 okay so keep in mind over the 980 now this price is what 15 cities okay and then we're gonna proceed to cut a uh, checkout and then we what we proceed to what place the um, the order so at the moment you place the order you see as you see over here our balance is what nine what 965 it means that it has what that deducted the what um the the 15 from it but we still cannot see the cashback okay so now let's go back into our account and see if the cashback really worked okay so let's check our wallet okay so the wallet is what has been deducted but the cashback did not work now do you know why the cashback did not work the cashback did not work because you remember we set the settings that the amount the minimum cut amount should be what 20 so it will never work okay it will never work but let's say we bought something more than um, 20 or more okay so let's go back to let's say let's go back over here and then order maybe two or more things and see if it works okay so let's say we want to order this one this one over here which is 20 exactly 20 okay and then proceed to check out and see okay and then let's place the order now we're supposed to get 45 but it will be less than 45 so as it is more than 45 so as you can see because it is one percent of the amount okay one percent of 20 is what is 0 0.2 and that is it over here so if you go into our account and then we go to our wallet as you can see we have what wallet credit through cashback which is what plus 0 0.2 over here and then the other that we place is what is 20 over here so the cashback is what is working guys and everything is what is on course now let's go back away again now like i told you we can add a referral um, you know system on our website using the same um, wallet system so what we're going to do is what we are going to what we call actions over here okay click on actions over here and then now we can add new user registration referral woocommerce product review referral daily visit referral and then normal referrals okay so um when somebody you know register the person can get to it something from our website when somebody and review a product the person can also get something when somebody visits the website every day the person can also get what 
something and then when somebody refers somebody also to our website the person can also what get something so now let's start with new user registration so if you are new you come to the website on your own and then you register on our website what are we supposed to give you so we would enable new user registration and then the amount we are going to give you is what is let's say we want to give you five okay and then we what we save we save it okay now we go back to actions again and then we go to what product review okay now with a product review if somebody reviews a product okay so let's say and um, we enable product review and you see when somebody reviews a product the person is supposed to get let's say 0 0.05 let's say 0 0.05 okay and then we save it okay now let's go back to actions again and then daily visit so every single day when somebody visits our website when a, a customer or a user visit our website what is the person um, going to get so we enable it over here and then the amount that we set so let's say we're going to set 0 0.01 for visiting our what our website now you can exclude user rules it means that um, you want to exclude maybe vendors you want to exclude maybe administrators you want to exclude um, you know editors and all those things but strictly we're going to ex exclude vendors we're going to exclude maybe shop managers we're going to exclude um you know contributors and then we're also going to exclude authors we're also going to exclude um, you know editors we're also going to exclude um administrators okay all these um you know people we don't want we just want um, a customer and then maybe a subscriber okay and then so when they visit our website they are supposed to get something from the website and then what we we save it okay now we exclude all these people because all these people can be working for you so there's no need for them to be getting it but if you want them to also get what something from your website maybe when they visit your website you what um, they get anything you what you include them in it and then let's go back to actions again and then now we've leveled what referrals so let's click on setup now with the referrals we can set it up so enable or disable we want to enable it and then the referral amount now when somebody refers somebody to your website how much is a person supposed to get now this is just a normal visitor okay so as you can see referring visitors okay so if you refer visitor but this one is what referring signups okay so it depends so let's say when you refer a visitor you get 0 0.05 but and then the limit we don't have any limit okay or you can decide to what limit it per what per day or per week or whatever it is okay so it depends so let's say um you don't have any limit so if you don't have a limit then you can reduce this one so that they can refer so many people and get so many amount of money okay and then um the referring what the referring um how do you call it referring um signups okay the amount that you want somebody when somebody sign up on your uh, um, your your website so it could be that maybe the person would bought something that is why the person sign up so let's say you want to uh, give the person two cds or two dollars or two whatever it is from the amount that the person would bought so um the minimum amount the person can buy they can use is let's say 20 and then the um limit okay the limit is what maybe you want to limit it per day per whatever it is okay you you it's on your own and then the description that you want to set for it and then the referral links okay so i want to use the username as what referral links so somebody can use the username and then refer people over there so the username as what referral links and then what click on save changes okay very good so this is how it is done now let's check and see if it is working so first let's um go back to the website itself okay so this is this is the the website itself so let's say um the the one that we're going to check it first let me go to actions and then we check it one by one so that you see how all of them work so user 
new user re registration so I'm going to open this one in a new incognito over here I do a lot of tutorials so I sometimes forget most of the things that I use so let me copy this one bring it over here and then you know enter it and there we go okay so this is what our website now let me check if I've registered on it oh so I'm already registered on it so what I'm going to do is I've used this to register what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out okay very good now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the home page like a new user okay so let's say I come to the website okay they have good things and then I want to sign up okay so I click over here and I click on sign up and then I enter my email address so let's say I want to enter this one okay and then I enter my what my password I confirm the password and then I accept what terms and conditions and I click on what sign up now I have been successfully what signed up so as you can see over here I get what five CDs in my account now let's check and see new user registration how much does a person get when the person registers the person gets five as you can see over here so that is it so this user gets what five in his what in his account okay now let's go back to WooCommerce product review so when the person um, review a product how much does the person get let's check and see the person gets 0 0.05 okay so let's go back to this place and then you know let's check let's say the person review um, this product this product and say uh, maybe it is what let's go to reviews over here let's say nice song for the summer okay and click on what submit okay says please rate so we're gonna rate so let's say five star okay and then we submit okay so the song is what waiting for approval okay now let's go over here and then go to the the review is waiting for approval let's go over there and go to uh, refresh our website and see we'll see what comment over here okay as you can see you see comment over here and then if you go to comment and then you approve the comment let's approve it and then go back over here go back over here and then click on refresh and see if we still get something yes so as you can see it has what it has increased from um, 5 series to 0 0.05 because our review is what is working now let's go back to the website again and check the next one that we are supposed to do this one is actions okay let's click on actions and then go to daily visit so for daily visits we cannot do it because unless the following day okay but let's check about referrals okay so we said when somebody refers somebody how much does the person get the person gets what the person gets refer visitor 0 0.05 but when the person refers um, you know somebody and the person buys something the person gets what two and um, what two um you know cities so let's go over here and go to our account okay let's check our account and go to our wallet so we can see all our transactions over there okay so as you can see our balance is what 0 0.0 uh, 5.05 over here okay and then our credit uh, transactions are here you can see it over there now let's click on referrals over here this is what we need okay referrals and then we can copy our referral what our referral link over here okay so let's copy it now as we copy it let's um you know open um a new um you know a new browser okay so i'm going to use safari over here and then let me paste this one the referral link over there okay very good so this is what the referral what the referral link okay this is the referral link so now we, that we have what referred somebody okay let's um check it and see how if we get any what any bonus now let's refresh it 
yes so as you can see it has moved from what from um, 0 0.5 to 0 0.05 because referring visitors okay 0 0.0 what 5 so we've referred a visitor so 0 0.05 now let's go back over here and then let the visitor also what sign up so let's say um, let's use any email address so let's say the person is what you know um, Kobe's okay so market oh sorry Kobe's market let's say at gmail.com okay and then we say that maybe the person is um Kobe K password to we're gonna use our own password okay and then what we sign up we, uh, we click on what sign up over here now we've what we've successfully signed up no so we've successfully what sign up and then as you can see over there at the moment the person sign up the person gets what five cities okay now let's say the person um go to the shop of the website and then you know place an order okay so let's say the person you know places uh, this one and then click on download and then you know proceed to what to check out okay and then um because the person doesn't have any money in the wallet so as you can see it is what um cash on delivery that shows now if you see over here okay we set up the rule that when the person have some money in the wallet it should deduct the money and then also deduct the rest from the what the um the payment system so that is it so five will be deducted from what your wallet and 15 will be paid through the payment method so as you can see that is how it works so now let's you know type in some um, some some phone number and then let's proceed to what to place the order now as you place the order the 5 cd is what is gone as you can see but because it is cash on delivery the admin is to approve it so let's go back to the admin side let's go back to the admin side okay and then approve the what the payment so let's uh, approve the order okay so the order is on hold let's just approve the order so i'm going to um, approve it quickly by clicking this place taking this place and then also um, changing this one to what to completed and then just apply okay so it has me what it has me applied now let's go back to this guy's what um this guy's balance the guy who referred the person's balance okay now let's refresh that person over here and then see what happens okay so the person did not get anything but the person is supposed to get something so let me let me go back to um somewhere let's say let me click on referrals again it still did not show let me go over here and then purge the cage and see if it's supposed to show okay guys so I did not show because as you can see over here it is what 15 that deducted from the person's what um, you know um, the person's um, actual balance okay actual money but it's supposed to be more than 20 or more okay so now let's check let's check it and see how um, if let's say the person buys a different thing okay so let's go to the person side and then let's go to a different shop again and let's see the person buys a different thing and let's see how it's gonna work so let's go to this place and then still click on download 
and then click on proceed and then pay okay now let's go back to this place and then refresh this one now let's you know update it quickly let's complete the order quickly so let's click on here and select it and complete the order quickly and let's see if it works also because it's supposed to work let me refresh this guy's referral yes so guys as you can see it works over here okay the synapse referral synapse came over here and the person has what gotten what two um you know um do, do, um two cities okay so as you can see over here now let's go back to this guy's also place and go to my account and then if you click on wallet now as you can see the person got what um a cashback okay cashback of what 0 0.2 okay because the person bought something which is what more than what um 20 right yeah so the person got to it a cashback okay so these are um this is how you can be able to what add a wallet system on your what on your website for it to what um run successfully for you okay i hope this video helps you and thank you for watching see you in the next video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel okay please like and subscribe thank you for watching bye bye